You know what's weird? Do you ever, what? I don't know if you thought about this. What? We've known each other uh, 20 years. We've known each other. <laughs> you know why? I was 27 when I started SNL, and I will be 47 this year. Is that right? Dude, that's a long time. Wow, that's a long time. You were 13, I think. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, well, do you, what do that's you remember crazy. about first joining the cast? I remember seeing you at an after party or something first. Man, it well, it, I came at the end of that 25th season, so yeah. I didn't I didn't really know anyone. You were super nice to me. That's about it. No, no that, that, you were super that, that, nice to me. Let's just stop there. And yeah. I remember um, everyone just like it was. You know what it felt like? It felt like school when everyone's like in the cafeteria and they know where to sit and I didn't know where to go and then sweet Chris Parnell I said it was a Tuesday and I said um what do we do tonight and he was like well we, we write and I was like till when and he was like well, eight in the morning and then all these doors started shutting and I realized like wow oh yeah I, I work here <laughs> yeah <laughs> not only you work terrifying. here you, you live there yeah you really do I'll, and I'll never be seen again uh who is your uh who is your office mate Oh, who is my office mate? We, we, but, we, oh, 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 that's also weird. I, when I first came, my office mate was Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> he was a guest writer for two weeks. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, and we would walk back to the hotel like, what are we doing here? Wow. Yeah. I forgot that he was a guest it writer. It was crazy. No way. And yeah. then he left and then you were just... He left and no one ever heard, heard from him again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I remember you. Uh, you were with Horatio always. Always with Horatio. That was the best office. I love that. That was the dumbest, <laughs> goofiest office. We had the, we had the dumbest, I mean, really the dumbest so stuff many, ever. So, so many, so many damn bits. So many bits. So many things. Do you remember Steele? Weird sunglasses. Weird, oh, he'd have the sunglasses, the laser so beam stupid. sunglasses? Yeah. Do you remember Steele would do all, always do bits, Andrew Steele? At a, at, at a certain point, he had, do you remember what his name was? You might have been gone. He had a guy, he made a, um, like a, a poster, like a cardboard cutout, life size of a guy who was a peeping Tom, and he would go around the building and peek through our window into me and Emily Spivey's office. Because oh, he was the next office. We, yeah. He would have like a pole. Yeah, and, and he would come over because he liked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd just be a plastic cutout? Yeah. <laughs> I remember once there was a, a wind-up dog that came into our office, like a puppy dog, and it, it wound up and it, it, it crawled in our office like a toy dog. And I go, what is that? And it had a note that said, uh, please help Andrew. <laughs> and, I, and I went to his office and he was on his desk, laying on his desk, and there was a phone on top of his head. What an elaborate bit. And he goes, yeah, th thanks so much. I'm so happy you're here. This, this phone was like stuck in my head. <laughs> I was so terrified and green, I didn't know anything. And Will Farrell used to come in dressed as another guy, Chip. Was his name Chip? Well, there's Chip Kudrow, who's like Lisa Kudrow. Kudrow. That's right. Lisa Kudrow's had, cousin or something? Was he the one that wore the neckerchief? Was that Ron? That might have been Ron. Ron is insane. Ron's crazy. And Ron would, would do be fake pitches. This is when like the, the, the host would come to SNL and we'd say, Hi, um, John Goodman, I have a pitch for this week. And it would, and, and, um, Will would be dressed as another man that none of us had ever met. No, and he was really in a character. Really? He didn't he, break character. Was he Southern? Ron was just weird. <laughs> Ron was weird. I don't and think really he's Southern. He's and loud, and he, yeah. had a, he wore like a Foot Locker jersey. <laughs> like a referee shirt, yeah. right? Yeah. And he had the, or maybe it was Chip Kudrow. There was a Chip Kudrow in there. Chip Kudrow, day. and he would sit and eat lunch by himself and stuff. And he was, <laughs> yeah. And you go, how's it going, Chip? And you're like, I'm fine. Chip had a... I think Chip had a chip on his shoulder a little he was, bit. Yeah, he was a little mad at yeah. his uh, cousin's success. Yeah. Lisa, Lisa Kudrow. All that friends money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember oh, when Oh, you was... guys should have been there. No, yeah. That Do you remember so when he was... Fun. You remember when was Ron... Uh, when Diddy and uh, Jimmy... Ron went on stage for, with, with the Foo Fighters and, and, and P. Diddy. No, it, no and... it was not Dick Rose. Oh. Uh, uh, Jimmy Page. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin and Diddy yeah. were doing a song from Godzilla or something. Yeah. Godzilla, and they're doing it and they're, he's rapping and, and then all of a sudden Ron... Ron got up there. Ron was, was the one just, with the neckerchief. He had a neckerchief and the sunglasses and the foot lacquer jersey and he was like... He just walked around. And he was like lost or something. He was lost. He didn't know where he was. He was on, wandering on the stage. It's always and, good and, to and Diddy be was rapping and he was like, lost. what is going on right now? <laughs> it was so bizarre. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.